Hello, and welcome to Grounded. So, Grounded is a game I've played a couple times in the past. I played it when it first came out, and then I played it a little while after that. Uh, a couple, like a month ago, I gave it a try again to see what has changed with the updates. And now, now I'm playing it for all of you, because now it is in 1.0, the official full release of the game. The story is completed, all the lines are voiced, a whole bunch of new areas and features and everything have been added, new insects and other things. Now, I'm going to warn you, if you have arachnophobia or a fear of insects, this game is not going to be fun for you. <laughs> Now, I personally don't have arachnophobia, but I still get terrified by, I don't know, a giant spider coming at me. But I can fight them and look at them just fine. There's no problem with that. It's more when it's a surprise that it gets me. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. And I think we're going to play as well, My Pete. name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. We're going to play on medium difficulty for now. And we're going to name this world... Let's see... Ah, you know what? Here we are. There's a bit of a reference. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology Looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. And I guess there's one thing to mention here, which is, uh... Did anyone else think that that video looked a little low res? <laughs> like it wasn't quite 1080p or 1460, it was more like 720? <laughs> Uh, I feel like someone messed up on the resolution on that. Signal detected. What's that? It sounds like a radio signal. It must be 
must be being transmitted from your Oh jeez. Ant comes out of nowhere running up to me. Better than starving, I think. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find Whoa. some clues. Science. Or someone. Go ahead and start off by analyzing our first bit of materials. Going to need plenty of stuff. Okay, analyze this. Now we're out of charges, and we'll they'll recharge in time. But in the meantime, we can make use of these to go ahead and start crafting some stuff. Let's start by making a weapon. And now to make an axe, we need some more sprigs and a rope. Rope we can craft. We're going to take this off our hotbar. Put that there. Consultant Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. Not sure what happened there. The truth. Am I crouching? Oh, some of my settings might be a little off. Give me a second here. There you go. Had my crafting button on the same button as my crouch and everything. Perfect. Go ahead and get some food there from that weevil. They're cute little things, but, well, gotta do what you gotta do. Hard to be a vegetarian when all the veg- <laughs> when all the vegetables are bigger than you are and don't exist around here. Common example of the Fermicity family. Okay. So now we should be able to craft this. We can craft the rope from plant fibers we collected, and now we can craft ourselves an axe. Put that on our hot bar here. And we can start cutting down things like this and collecting clovers. Bathroom scale is the right word because this looks like a like an auxiliary port or something. This, I think this is more like the size of a Game Boy or some such. It looks handheld at least. Science. S the science dial is set to t to three. All right. Well. Curiosity killed the tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Wrong button. Way to fix them? <laughs> now, one of the main reasons I'm collecting all these clovers is so I can make 
the first set of armor that's available to us. Should be clover armor. I think we might have... Yeah, we got some charges back. So the whole recharge thing is... Actually, wait, that's like a clock, not a not a timer for the ch charge. It actually recharges Draw fast. Here we go, clover armor. And we can also do the weep nose, which is used to make gas masks. Alright. So, crafting... We can make the armor from rope and the clever, clover leaves. Start down here. Oh, we need a uh, work table, a uh, crafting table, to be able to do that. That's going to require us to unlock that, and I don't have it just yet. So for now, we'll go with this. Ladybug. Ladybugs are incredibly tough, but their parts make a good armor. A, one of the first heavy armors. Aphids. How the hell do I... Oh, I have to hold R to throw. Oh, I missed. That's actually rather... I'm gonna have to chop this down so I can get my spear back. Oh, there it is. Ah, this is one thing I'm going to need quite a bit of. Tree set. Pretty important resource to collect. Won't find much of it out here, but I can keep my eyes peeled for the little bit I can. That's used to make things like bandages and such. Why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Yeah, one of the things that you can use sap for is to create a torch. Now... Thankfully, this thing's pointing out some extra sap I can collect here. So I can make a torch. Pretty sure I have more than enough for it. But, if it's going to keep pointing it out to me, it's useful to collect some. That one. That's a bit far away now. But we should have more than enough now. To make our torch. We need some dried grass chunks, which we can get from this. Okay. Bam, torch. Let there be light. This as well. 
And good thing I made a hammer earlier, because now I can break the this. Source of uh, rock, which I'm go all these little pebbles I'm going to need. Now the main reason I wanted to come down here is because of this port site. I need a better hammer before I can break it, Tremor but detected. I'm definitely going to want bust. that. Ah, so I need a shovel to be able to get dig those things up. Scabby, additional flipper scheme available. You discovered scab scheme might rider. So I don't know where exactly I can find the information for that. Oh, this is interesting. You can actually set some different looks. Oh, Might Writer, so that's what it is. Oh, so it's like a color scheme for everything. Certainly interesting. I don't think I've ever messed around with that. Ah, I kind of like it. I might have to take a look at some of the other ones later. But for now, let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, we don't want to drink that. So, one of the things you can do to get water when you don't want to drink terrible water like this is you can look for water hanging on grass stems, and if you just punch the stem, don't even need to boil it. it'll fall off and you can drink some clean water. Some dew. So, just keep your eyes peeled upward whenever you're looking for it. And with a bit of effort, you can find some more. You can also climb up to that gr- uh, I accidentally fell off this little cliff here. Ah, we can eat some of these little mushrooms here. Oh, jeez. Back here. of that Chunky Chubbs League-approved baseball. It's the size of a dang house. Ah, more water. There we go. Nice and full of water, and we can go ahead and eat some of these mushrooms, too. They don't taste very good. My mom's Brussels sprouts. But at least they will fill us up. Uh, we need to go back this way. So one of the lasers is obstructed. Where is the obstruction? Ah, it's a bit of grass right there. Need to regain my stamina. Bam. Job done. Alright. I'm gonna do something real quick. I was messing around with more of the uh, s color schemes. This one's nice. This is the high contrast one. I kind of like the darker color.
my bad. Uh oh. Hey, look up there. I'm trying to remember, there's this key you can press. That's uh. Oh, you know, here I'll check. All right, so the key I was looking I for is X. Map marker placed. New one for the beast here. With Down X, that, you your path can. Is not cleared. Observe things, and you can actually get their information about them inside of the. Uh, it's not in here. Where is it? It's is it data? Yes, here you are. You can actually see information on animals and uh, creatures. So you can actually see things like their weaknesses, resistances, where they're weak at, and you can figure out some of the information about where they are and what you can get from them. So if you just press X. Bam, ladybugs. Well, my inventory is getting pretty full. And I've got a lot to analyze, so let's head back to the little science lab. I don't, can we remove that? Ah, right click. Perfect, okay, so. Look at this little map. We can actually see this field station's over here. And we can place a waypoint on that. Now it'll tell us exactly where we need to go. Weevil. Alright, so we're going to analyze this mushroom. Sap. That gets the workbench that we needed. And we're going to do this. My dry grass. Okay. We'll wait a bit for the other ones to refill, and we will... It's getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Yes, definitely need to do that. Craft a... Doop, doop. I want to make a workbench, which we need some grass planks for. And we should... I'm going to go ahead and make one of these, too. And now we can go ahead and mark things, like field station. And that'll help us navigate back to here whenever we need to without using anything like the map. Perfect. Let's get some grass planks. So we needed three of these to craft our workbench. And with that, we can actually make things like that armor we wanted to earlier. We're going to need a lot of rope. We're going to need a lot of sprigs. Alright, so two more sprigs, and we'll be good. Check that back over there. Hey, right here we have some raw science. I'm holding raw science in my hands. This is kind of cool. It like points out where you need the res where you can get the resources you need. I don't. That was not a feature in the past. I don't remember that ever being a thing. For just random things like this. Alright, and finally, the shin guards. So, organizing our inventory a little bit. We're going to put all of that right here. I feel a little less squishy now. I'm going to get all that equipped. I want to put all my tools and such at the top right here next to each other. Okay. Next, I want to craft a lean-to, which we're going to put right... not there. Uh, relocate. 
I want it to rotate a little bit. And we can just put it like right there. That's good enough. And I want to make a fire or a spit so we can make some food. Oop, accidentally canceled. We just need some more sprigs again. <laughs> ah, here we are. Sprig, sprig, sprig. Pick up more, some more sap too while we're at it. can cook our weevil meat that we collected. I think you can do three at a time. Yep. Yeah, once it gets nighttime, things actually get really dark. Oh, an ant ate one of my meat. You little bugger. Come back here. Now, ant parts are actually incredibly useful. And can be used to make some armor as well, though you really you need soldier ant parts rather than just worker ant parts. Okay. Now we've got some roast weevil to eat later. Joke it down, Pete. We'll just eat some, finish out these mushrooms for now. Now, the dew that you can collect from grass, uh, it's easier to find and collect more in the morning, whenever, you know, because it's morning dew. No water filtration you can still find some later in the day, but more of it reappears overnight. Okay, so I, I see. This isn't like a timer. This is... 1944 means the time of the actual in the game. Now I get it. Now, raw weevil doesn't stack, and neither does the cooked stuff. Right there. Uh, I spy. Got one. Bees. I can hear an aphid chirping around. I think that aphid is a pet. But I can't Hark, see yonder lady it. Yonder the clover forest. On what errand does the day find you? There it is. Now, aphids are adorable, but they're also pests. And I lost my spear again. Uh, how do I keep missing these? Along with that other grass plank I chucked over here earlier, we'll just chuck these up over here in the corner. And I think it should be dark enough now. Ah, not quite. So, we will set our spawn point, however. Uh -huh. 
we still need to craft a bandage. Bandages are made with sap and plant fiber. Yeah, so we need... Ah, oh, we can actually make them... We can make ant armor without the soldier ants, except for this. You, the red ant head can only be gotten from soldier ants, I believe. Normally. So we can make everything except for the head. I don't know why this is an invalid service. You can't build off of the... Uh, that structure. I can build onto the spit, though, which doesn't make much sense. Oh, here, we'll just do that. <laughs> Bit of a weird one. Uh, so we can go ahead and craft the ropes we need for this. Now we have a light source. It's not just our spit. Yeah, I don't want to sleep just yet because it'll be pitch black when I wake up. So even though it's a bit dark right now, we're going to keep working. And I'm going to start building up this base a little bit. So the first step is going to be to chop down a bunch of grass. Building up a wall. Uh, I don't have that unlocked yet. Do I have to have this so I can? Yes. Here we are. Analyze that. So now we can make walls and such. Go ahead and analyze our bandage too all around it since we don't have anything else to do. Eye patch. That's different. <laughs> okay. So. Craft, and we're going to make ourselves some walls. Didn't mean to do that. Also, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I was trying to relocate this. Put that down. Just cancel it, because I don't see the option to relocate. I was trying to rotate this. We're going to put a wall right there. Door. And we'll keep the wall going. Uh, I want to turn the wall a little bit. So, it presses against this wall over here. There we go. Ah, now the mission has popped up to actually sleep through the night. So now we can sleep until it's daytime. I'm going to keep working on this, though, so we wake up a little bit later. I want to cut down these stems so that they don't regrow in the base. And gives us plenty of open area to work with.
I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll see you all in a minute. This isn't the most entertaining part. Okay, now that now we're back. So one thing you might notice is that I can't really finish these doors because they require something called a weed stem. Now, weeds such as this one here, dandelions, and well, this is an, that's it. dandelions aren't quite the sort of weeds we're looking for. Yeah. There's a uh, wow that slime mold torch does not last long. This is a weed, for example. Husky weeds. These things are tougher than normal grass and can't be cut down with the peplet axe. We'll need a slightly better axe to do that. So that's something we'll have to do in a while. And we unlock the bow and shovel. There we go. Go ahead and sleep now. Oh, this is new. There was never really any animation with it before. That's cool. Alright, we need water and food. To begin our day. Luckily, we already have the food covered. Chilly, but not bad. And some water has formed on the grass. So we just look around for some more dew and we'll be fine. Ah, right there. That landed inside of our house, even. Okay. Well, let's get a move on. So, we're going to have to work pretty hard on acquiring a number of things. First things first, I want to collect some more clovers. So that I can craft some more storage baskets. So we're going to craft a couple of these, and we're just going to place them around over here. Uh, one there. Let's see, one here. And I think we can actually fit two right here. So, I'm going to just do a hot craft of these, craft a whole bunch. See, that's the problem with not having the doors, they perfectly go through these holes. Okay, we got a whole bunch of storage, we're going to start sorting stuff out. I want to do all my plant fiber and such in here with my sprigs and my ropes and whatnot. And the slime mold. We're going to put all the plant stuff in here. In here we're going to put all of our insect parts. And over in here we're going to put all of our stone. And I guess we'll put the sap in there too. We gotta keep an eye on this. Our food won't last forever before it spoils. Okay, there we go. Now we're all sorted. We got a nice clean inventory, and we're gonna we're ready to head out to go to where we need to. All right. How do I always miss? Well, this time. Damn it. All right. That oh. aphid as a pet. I wonder if the. I think you actually can tame things like aphids. There we go, finally got one. So we're gonna knock this to send it down. Now there's a re reason I took out these aphids outside of just eating them, they can be used to craft something. 
they can make aphid slippers, which is kind of a grim idea, but it's a sort, certain type of armor that makes you run faster. And we can go ahead and craft these. Okay, so aphid slippers can be equipped a little right now. there. Now, having a full set of armor actually provides you with a special effect. So these all provide fuller, which means that I stay... Yeah, well, I keep my food full longer. But they also provide moist. Uh, it lets you retain extra water as well. When I take that off, though, I lose the full armor set effect. Aphid slippers do let me run fast, though. So we're going to take advantage of these to move quickly. Because we have a place to get to. And then we can switch over to the other armor later. We're heading towards the tree. Collect some sprigs and such on the way. Ah, juice. So that came from the straw of this juice container, juice pouch. Another way to get dr some drink. We do need to be careful yeah, running around over there. There's a spider, an orb weaver. The weakest of the spiders, but still stronger than we are for now. And we got to be careful coming up here on the tree because this area ha is where they like to hang out. We got an ant hole right there. Now the main reason I wanted to come to the tree is for acorns. Oh, did I say that the ladybug armor was the first heavy armor? <laughs> That's a bit wrong. Acorn armor is the first lady is the first heavy armor. Ladybug armor makes up the second. Yeah, you can collect these acorns for both food as well as crafting resource. Armors, uh, etc. Great place to go to get a nice set of heavy armor early on. Ah, also you can, at the tree, you can collect a ton of sap. Which is definitely good because you're going, I'm going to need a lot of sap for bandages. And I want to make lots of bandages. We're going to go ahead and craft some more of those now. We'll need more plant fiber, but I left it all back at the house, so... Collect a bit of it here. And now we're going to head towards that. Craft as many bandages as we can. Now we got a whole bunch of them. They only stack up to five, but we definitely want to collect as many of those as we can. You can eat food as well to regain health, so these weevil roasts, for example, will restore a fair bit of my health. Oh. Wolf spiders live under the center of the tree, making it much too dangerous to head over there. Here we are. The blasted entrance of the lab. Throw those on, so I have the full armor set again. 
have safe fur. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. Go ahead and do this while we we're here at it. This allows us to make things together sap and make smoothies, spinning wheels, gardens. You make all kinds of stuff with acorns. Okay, I wanted to quickly look through all of these. So here's the acorn armor. We just need mite, fuzz, shells, and rope. Clover leaves and rope. And sap. Also can make the shovel using acorn shells, which we're going to go ahead and craft now. The spinning wheel is quite useful. It allows you to make rope cheaper by, instead of using three plant fiber, you can use one plant fiber to craft a rope. Uh, you just need to let it spin in that for a while. We can make proper chests now from the uh, actual, from the acorn shells. So we're definitely going to have to do that. Actually, you might be able to get a red ant head from a normal red ant. Not, I think you, the mandibles are what you have to get from the soldier ant to make the clant club. That's what it was. Oh, wrong buttons. Okay, there's our shovel. Get a holy. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully, I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing about- Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. The sock. <laughs> However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, and now I cannot recall where he went. It m you are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell to Tully to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. 
It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time and ha ha! That is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg! I am sorry again! It Arg. appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected! Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer! Dr. Tully used two types of chips. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Processing. Error. Files not found. Codes. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scan. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! Alright. Speaking of raw science. Raw science. Raw science. There we go. Now we can pick up quests. Ah, one to craft a clover poncho, that's easy. One to kill some gnats, and one to find the grave robbery chip. Now with our raw science, we can start buying some stuff. We can actually afford a number of things already. Might be good to actually make some of these stuff. Which one do I want? I think I want to go ahead and pick up this and this, the ones that are recommended for now. I do want this, but that's more of a cosmetic thing for later. Hmm, now where did I leave that? Okay. Now that we're in the system, we can make use of the biometric scanner. I spy. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. 
Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here, the Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. Oh my. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil. Please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. <laughs> okay. And now nighttime is a bit dangerous because, you know those wolf spiders we saw underneath the tree? They come out to hunt at night. They are nocturnal. So we're going to need to head back to our home and sleep soon. Uh, can I craft a torch? I did get plenty of sap, so I should be able to. Do do do. So, torch. We're going to need one more rope and some dry grass. Which I don't see around here. I'll have to look, keep my eyes peeled and find some. You see that? So now we can actually experience this! You can use the shovel to dig up those little buggers. You have to be careful, though. You won't always get grubs. Sometimes you'll find yourself digging up something, say, a larva. And those things can fight back. <laughs> Gonna need that for later. Ah, good. Something to drink. Drop a soda. Oh, so Take I do need look. to be careful here because this like log wall, Got one. yeah, is popular with spiders. So I want to stick myself away from there. Yes, I can go inside this can. That was so cheesy. I don't know how well you guys can see. I still need to find some dry grass so I can make myself a torch. Ant crossing! Okay. Oh. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Nice and full. Alright. Q. 
keep moving. Time to get back to base. Before any spiders notice us. Curious about the flower on top of this clover. Uh, it doesn't seem like it actually does anything. Well, I need some clover leaves anyway. I'll just collect some ten. For now. Full. All right, we gotta get moving. Oh, I can't unequip uh, my axe because whilst it's equipped in your hand, it's technically not in your inventory. So, because my inventory is full, I can't unequip. <laughs> so we need to move back and store some stuff so that I can actually use my hands again. My torch is no longer lit and I can't relight it either because I can't unequip it. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we're back. Go ahead and relight our uh, stove there. Okay. Grub armor. And the weevil shield. Weevil shield is something I definitely want to make. That's grub meat. We're going to hold on to the weevil meat. We actually need that for the weevil shield. Finish storing some of these things. So, let's see, insect parts. go. Nice and sorted out. So one of the benefits of having all those things inside your storage is you can still access them from your crafting station. You don't have to actually have them in your hands, which is good. We can actually go ahead and start crafting some acorn armor. We need four weevil meat and two grub hide to make our weevil shield. Let's go ahead and sleep. Okay, so uh, my roasts have spoiled. Spoiled meat's actually useful because it's used in the creation of a. Uh, not that but it's part of the recipe for crafting gardens, I believe. The Where do we see? Garden, garden, garden. Should be somewhere down here, garden patch. Yeah, you need spoiled meat to make these. You also need weed stems, so we can't craft any anytime soon. 
This is quite useful, so we actually want to get ourselves a water container soon. So we're going to set this up over here. Somewhere. Maybe right like that. Okay, so we need some acorn shells. I got my meat! Bitch. <laughs> One clover leaf. And some... did it say rope? Rope. There we go. So now we can store water in that. I think to transport the water we're going to need a different resource, however. Okay, so... Do I need our eight rows? now access this stuff from here. I'm going to craft that clover poncho for that quest. So we already have one, but we can craft another for the sake of the quest. You do want to be careful because if you attack an ant when there's other ants nearby, they all become hostile to you. So if you see a lot of ants around in an area, you probably shouldn't attack one. If you can help it. Unless you feel confident taking all of them on. Okay, so for the clover poncho we needed... Uh, let's see. Clover leaves and rope. Well, that's pretty easy. Now, I did still have some clover leaves back inside the base, but the reason I'm gathering more right now... I see what I mean? This ant's already hostile to me, because it... Realize I attacked another ant earlier. As I was saying, <laughs> I want to hold on to those for crafting something else in a bit. So, craft a bunch of those. Now we can go craft the clover poncho. And we're just going to put that one away in here. Don't know why my... Yeah, okay. That's that done. Now we have a new one. And we got a whole bunch more science to use. So we can actually go ahead and get multi-story bases. Now we can do things like crafting floors and stairs and such. Very nice. But that's where I'm going to end today. I hope you enjoyed. This was a bit of a long episode. Uh, I don't know if they'll continue to stay this long, or if you're happy with the length, let me know. If you want to see more and you enjoyed this sort of thing, please let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from anyone who enjoyed this. Bye! Have a great day.